You guys smell? You want some more? You sm uh uh. You smell like sunscreen. I put some on. <laughs> oh, it must be sound sensitive in there. <laughs> put it on this mole. Ugh, that's a mole. Should I get these moles removed? Yeah, sure. I have a good amount of moles. Yeah, just why don't you go in and just have them all lopped off? Hi. Hey. Should we do channel news? Channel news. The 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 open thing will play. It'll be like, and then I'll be like, channel news. Wow. No. I'm like ABC New Evening News. They're not. They're not just like ABC News. You know? What do they say? They're like. They're like, hi. Good evening. Welcome to the news. Or whatever your show is called. What is ours called? The news. Channel News. Channel so, news. So, you, so okay, yeah. you try. Good evening and welcome to Channel News. I'm your anchor, Tim Rosenman. And I'm his co-anchor, <laughs> Whitney Port. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Whitney. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I didn't really have any Channel News, except for my hair <laughs> and my beard, which I'm growing out. I think that's a really good call. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Matt James of you. Mm -hmm. What inspired that? I think you should grow it out really long. Okay, we'll see. I saw this guy, a Runyon. He had like a really long beard and then the mask up here, it looked like a crop top. Mask and beard is not a good look, right? I mean, it doesn't bother me, but I just, I, it may get uncomfortable, but I think you should just go and see how long you could do it. Let's see. Any other channel news? Not on my end. Merch, round three, slowed down. Don't have a graphic designer yet. What happened? Um, I chose one and then the guy has like an, I, I emailed him and he's like, I'm unplugged for a while. I'm like, all right, dog. Well, I need someone who's, who's plugged, plugged in. Who's plugged in. Yeah. I mean, but I don't even care. I'm totally laid back and I'm fine and I'm happy and I'm excited to be watching these episodes. Good. We're knee deep in season four and let's see what happens. Yeah, and he said we only have four episodes left of season oh, four. Oh, another drinking game for the finale? Let's do it. PMA, baby. PMA. I do. I have a very PMA. Here we go. Okay, good. Spencer still hadn't forgiven Stephanie for being friends with me. Just like being nicer to me. Why don't you start being loyal to your family? Whoop. Whoop. And she didn't know if he ever would. Found it. When Audrina believed a crazy rumor. What is it? Basically right. that Lauren and Justin hooked up. <gasps> oh my god. It did big damage to her relationship with Justin. This is so stupid. You put something in your head and you think that you really believe it when it's really fictitious. Something not right there, dude. But it did even bigger damage to ours. You did this! No, I didn't I do anything! Did the same thing I you did to Heidi to me. No, no, I, I'm not, because you're way worse than Heidi. So, the BTS of that scene mm -hmm. is Lauren is saying that Audrina made this whole thing up for the show. She's saying, yeah. that's what you did this means. Right, that's what we discussed last week, didn't we? Perhaps. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we discussed this last week. We said that that was an option, but we thought that Audrina would not do that. I don't know how I feel right now, and I reserve the right to decide until later. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, I'm here. What's going on? How was your day? Fine. I'm just bummed about Adrena. I mean, I'm done yelling. I'm done being upset about it. It's really unfortunate. I feel like I was in depleted blouses like this at the time. Like, I had this with depleted the, with the blouse with the accordion collar, and it was, it, this was like a trend. Yes. Um, <laughs> what does Seinfeld call it? Like a puffy shirt? Yeah. And it when somebody you consider to be your best friend questions you in that way. I think that that's what she doesn't get. She just like acted like it was no big deal. Because it was about Justin, somebody she cares so much about. And it felt like she cared more about him than in you in the situation. And considering she did. how he's treated her. The way he's treated her over the past few years is the reason why she believed this. It's a hard situation. But what would you do? Like, truly, like, if somebody questions you in that way, you will always know that they don't trust you. Yeah, that's, completely. that's the thing for me, is it's about the trust. 
Well, I mean, what would it take for you to forgive her? For her to actually be sorry. In Pulp Fiction, John Travolta's character says Samuel L. Jackson's character, like, are you familiar with the concept that once someone is truly sorry for what they are done, they've done, they are completely forgiven mm -hmm. for all wrongdoings. Mm -hmm. That's what Lauren is saying, and I agree. Yeah, I, you've always not, you've mentioned that before. Yes, like you, and you've said that to Sunny too. Like as long as you say sorry and you actually do feel sorry. <laughs> Like, I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna like, hold your feet to the fire for it, you know. So let's get, let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Like you don't have to be part of my life. I never have to see you or talk to you again. But like you're forgiven and we're done, right? No, I want to keep Sunny in my life. Oh, Sunny. Yeah, I'm talking about. Well, I guess it depends what they do. Sign Did yep. you end up doing anything this week? No. I wish you ended up going with me. What uh, what happened? We went to Winston's, that little bar. But Lauren was there. Did you talk to her? Well, obviously, I had to do something. She was there with Lo. So I went up there, and I was like, OK, we need to talk about this whole situation. What'd she say? She just kept saying that I hurt her. I humiliated her. It wasn't even a conversation, Kira. It was like a scream fest. Like, I would start talking. She would yell over me. I would try to yell over her, and it just escalated. So I just sat back and let her do what she wanted and say what she wanted. It's just sad because there's a history there, you know? I've never had a, a conversation with anyone like that, ever. And then I got a hold of Justin, finally, and I went and met him at Clippers and Matadors. What was his excuse for not reaching out to you? He didn't bring his phone charger, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, why didn't you text me back or call me back when you did get him? Right. He said, because when I did get him, beyond the nice ones, like, I just read all your ones that were hurtful. Like, those things you said to me, I would never say to you. I'm like, well, I was upset. I was hurt. Like, what was I Nobody was to answering do? you. And he's like, Adriana, like, you should know of all people. Like, I've known you forever. Like, I wouldn't do that. He's like, it made me just not even want to talk to you. And then he just walked out, and I haven't talked to him since. Sorry. I don't know. So now you, you're pretty convinced, and you don't think it happened? No. It's almost like I feel better, but yet at the same time I don't because it costed my friendship with Lauren. So what do I do now? I just want all this to like be gone and just disappear and then I'll go back to how it was. Can't do that. Well, unless she says like, I'm sorry and I'm, I truly apologize. Lauren sounds like she's open to that. I guess you can do that. I mean, if someone... And in your book. Yeah. And if someone said, like, your boyfriend hooked up with your best friend, like, you are allowed to, like, go ask them if it's true. Mm -hmm. Especially if the guy, like you, we were talking about before, you already have trust issues and then they're not picking up. But Lauren's point is, like, well, I said I didn't do it and you didn't believe yeah. me. Yeah, like, believe me But she me believes the first her now. Mm -hmm. Believe me the first time. Mm -hmm. Like, believe me sooner. Like, come on, girl. It's open. Ruffles. Oh, that's safe. Whoa, lots of stuff. Hi. Oh, hi. What's up? You decorate this place pretty janky. Like, this should be all clear and nice. You got it like it's a bathroom. Oh, my God, Spencer. So, <laughs> Heidi and I are going to go visit our Nana, Nana the Great, in Huntington Beach. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I suggested to go to Huntington Beach. <laughs> to visit Nana. I have something Nana. called school and work. If you guys are going on a weekend, maybe I can go. Can't she come here? What kind of person doesn't check in with their Nana? And I go to school three oh, times a week. Oh, you can pick up the phone once a month and call her and check in with her? I can, but like. You don't, though. All she cares about is how you treat her. Well, it sounds like you've got her wrapped around your finger. Sounds like I'm giving you an opportunity to go make good with mm. your Nana. The spit line? I don't know mm -hmm. if I want to go. My I'm science like, teacher in like sixth grade like, always had that. Oh. I never wanted to sit in the front seat, because then said, I'm in the front row, because she would spit it out on ew, you. Ew, ew. I had no teachers who spit on me. It was not. She was, you did not want her teacher. No. No wonder you're so bad at science. I'm lame. I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> bad at science. <laughs> I couldn't even focus. I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm out of here. 
a Spencer. I am. Try to be mean. Like you should really make peace with your nana. She's eighty-four years old. What? 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 Who came up with this storyline? A nana gives a shit. Nana's <laughs> got a, a, a new business launching. Nana does. Yeah. So she was like, Spencer, can I get a little storyline? <laughs> I just made that up. Did you believe me? No. 100 degrees out. You want the heat on? <laughs> what does her shirt have on it? An elephant? So, I have something to talk about. What? Why are you banging Justin Bobby? <laughs> Honestly, it's so funny. That's the craziest I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm just, I'm so angry. It's disgusting and it's embarrassing for other people to like ask me about that. Sometimes it's not about standing up for yourself. Sometimes it's you're just gonna about... let people say things like that about you and not even defend yourself. You know what? What? That's not the kind of person you want in your life. I know. Plain and simple. You shouldn't have any dislike towards Andrina at all, you know? Just go about your life and leave people like that that are constant drama and constant, like, leave them to do their own thing. It's just lame, it's honestly. It's kind of like one of those lose-lose situations. I don't think it's a lose-lose. I think it's a win-win situation. Mm. How? Because you don't need somebody like that in your life. Yeah, but um, meanwhile, on Hill's New Beginnings, he's saying that Audrina and him have been best friends for years and have always flirted. So I'm just saying, like, shit does not add up. Add up, up no. Doesn't add up, dog, okay? <laughs> Where did she turn? Everybody changes. It's a part yeah, of no, life. Some that. change for the bad, some change for the good. Bodhisattva Brody over that. here. Hey, uh. What? You've never changed? Uh uh. Uh mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Brody. Brody has a different look like every scene. They were probably just he was not keeping his looks for continuity. I remember. So we don't give a Adam. Yeah, it was. We were behind the scenes. So, Coming up, with, tell us about it. They were just. How did they keep you looking the same? <laughs> they were so strict about everything. Like, you weren't allowed to get tans. You weren't allowed to like change your color hair. Um, you couldn't. You just couldn't make any really. In case they wanted to film a scene. Yeah, like tattoos, piercings. Ago. Like you couldn't. You had to keep it all the same. Well, Audrina's sister was like, "I have these tattoos." <laughs> Try to find a new one. But we love Casey. Find any good ideas? She's got a good stance on things. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of like. This magazine is called the most romantic rooms ever. That's cool. The whole magazine is called The Most Romantic Rooms Ever. Magazine, the magazine bubble needed to burst. Well, not bedrooms, it's just rooms. Cool. So, Justin bedrooms. still isn't talking to me. Just for him to not even call me back or text me. It's just, mm. he's very good at, like, manipulating and kind of turning it back on me. It's like he likes seeing you hurt. I know. This is the worst of all everything that we've been through, you know? Because it involves Lauren. Yeah, it's not another random She's girl. She's the star random of the girls show. Random don't matter. I don't this is know a way them. bigger Lauren's deal. like someone that I know and care about. Someone that I know. So, <laughs> it's like I understand why Lauren is upset because I, why would I even think that of her? Do you think I should apologize to Lauren? We do. You do, huh? If you, I don't know, if... If you really believe that she didn't do it and she's genuine about it, like, she's not going to forgive you for being the victim until you apologize to her. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why. Because she's all upset that you accused her of it. She's just a, well, the whole situation just sucks. Uh -huh. You played yourself. I mean, someone probably got in her, in their, in her ear yeah. and was like, this, this is... Yeah, I think it's just I think this is what happened. Probably what's his name? Whoever was the guy that told her and then the producer so probably like Yeah, like Dino you gotta dig producer. into this. Yeah. Oh, oh Steph now came. I hit up the store to get God. a nice outfit. That's your nice outfit oh God, to visit your name. <laughs> wearing dog. <laughs> we had so Queen nice Nana. Outfit. Look at the back of her hair. 
Oh my god, we're gonna go back. I don't care about you, Nana. Let me just make that clear. A nice outfit. That's your nice outfit to visit. What did you wear? Okay, here comes Stephanie and oh my god, in fur. Oh no. I thought that whole thing was her hair. hair. It's Heidi's hair too. Can you get me in there? Reaching. Who am I? Who am I? Spencer, yeah. when, it, when it in the new beginnings is open. Reaching. <laughs> Ooh, I love Nana's couch. Look, looks comfy. Okay. Here, Nana, this flower is oh, from the Heidi. Thank you. And what I. a surprise! You got you oh, thank you so Hi, much. It's so good to see this you. This flower is from Heidi. Do you remember Stephanie? Pick up your garden. Do you remember Stephanie? Who are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. It has been Come a long time. In. But you haven't seen Nana in five years? This is the first time you've called? But did we see Nana last week? Yeah, we see Nana all the time. This, yep. is, <laughs> this is our love of our lives. Oh, look at all these photos. Look at these photos, aren't they wonderful? Look at this one, Nana. Oh, oh the cutest little boy uh -huh. in the entire yeah. world. Well, you know I can get you frames that only have like one heart and we could just have <laughs> one like that. Are uh, you thirsty? I have some lemonade and some cookies. I yeah. don't think somebody's ever had your lemonade cookies. You take Heidi outside uh, then, okay? okay? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Well, lovely out here. My favorite part of coming. I know. Besides you, of course. I'll put them down. All right. Why are they sucking yeah, up to Nana yeah. so much? <laughs> so lame to make Stephanie, Stephanie look bad. What's new but... with you? I haven't seen you in so long. What have you been, been doing? Long? Stephanie, not knowing what family is and loyalty, she decided to become friends with the person that was talking mean about poor sweet Heidi talking for over mean? a year. And Stephanie decided to go be best friends with this girl. Um, you, Stephanie should be like, no, sorry, Spencer, that's not what happened. They were best friends, and then you said they she had a sex tape. Yeah. And, um, like, Nana, what do you think and about now that? No, no one will film with you, okay? Now no one will film with you. That's why we're here, because Except we have, have exhausted <laughs> everyone in my family who will film with me. Next, we're gonna be filming with my dog. <laughs> okay, Nana doesn't know the whole story. Why does this remind me of years back where you two were fighting then and now you're still doing it? I don't remember ever fighting with Spencer. I remember playing like Nerf guns. I want you to get along and to be happy, you know? Everything is, a, is such a nice time when people are happy. You know, get I wish I had had a brother when I was Nugget young. Wisdom. It would have been protective of me. You can trust him, and you can rely on him, and he will always be there for you. I'm just happy that I got to see no, you, Nana. and I hope that uh, our visits will become more frequent. Speaking of that, so No, I have not enjoyed this visit, Nana, mm -hmm. so I will not be going to subsequent visits. Okay, you can enjoy Heidi. Whenever... Whenever I'm not at school. Maybe we could uh, get together tomorrow and... Stephanie's got her day free. Of course she'll go. Just so. you and I. Cool, dude. I really can't wait to see how this fucking progresses. Whenever she's not at work or at school, she's gonna be with her nana. Who, like, who agreed to put that on television? I don't know. Everyone's on autopilot. <laughs> Lauren's checked out. She's about to quit. You You're about to go do something. Yeah. Tell me about your dress. Is it or isn't it vintage? It's Topshop. Oh, not vintage. Uh -uh, I got it at the Top Shop in New York on Broadway. You're hot. Will you update me with the boy situation? Do you like talk to him on the phone or you just text? I talk to him. So, he's so cute. He just puts like XOs after every sentence in his text. Does he really? Just, yeah, or like XXX. It's so, he's so cute. It's so, he's so cute. I hope that I can see him again soon. Has Audrina tried to get in touch with you since the last time you guys oh, yeah, sorry about She texted else. me that she wants to meet at Bond Street tomorrow night to explain to me, you know, kind of her situation, but to try to make peace, you're assuming, or to try to... I don't think she's looking for round two. She didn't like what she got in round really one. Really really Ass. Just playing devil's advocate, maybe she just has something different to say. I mean, what would have changed? I've, she's already heard from Justin that it wasn't true and knows that she was wrong, so. You guys have been through so much that if she's reaching out to you this hard, she must really, really need someone to talk to right now, you know? Because you guys have been there for each other so much in the past, like, maybe she just needs you right now. 
She's like, f**k you, Whitney. <laughs> All right? Can I say that? F**k you, Whitney. Right? We already talked. You did. I would have been, well, f**k you, too. <laughs> He's like, I got my own show now. All right? It's called The City. It's different, but it's the same. All right, here we go. California Incline, Santa Monica. Great place to be. Oh my God, Nana and Stephanie are back on a walk. Oh my God, is that Nana and Stephanie? <laughs> yes. oh this is my not B-roll. I thought it was just B-roll. Well, I'm glad we're doing this. Oh, nobody oh, else is glad you're doing this. Yes, it is. Oh. Sorry to old people. <laughs> Nana? Looks hot. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> I, I don't mind your outfit. I would wear that shirt. Mm -hmm. I would wear that I'm hat. I'm glad this, this opportunity came because I, would I don't the whole think look. we would have had it otherwise. There isn't any reason why you and I can't have, when I come up here, we can have our time, just the two of us. It's really good to spend time with you, but whenever you come into town, I don't even know you're in town because you were just like with Spencer and Heidi, like hold up, I'm not even like included. Yeah, well, it's not up to me. That's the problem. If it was me, I would definitely include you. And like, I know you don't know this side of Spencer, but with Spencer and I, it was just competition. And this was just like one battle that like I should fight for your attention, but he's just like the star in the spotlight. Well, yeah. that's, that's oh, always yeah. tough to have somebody, yeah. you know, you living in his shadow. Do you think if you looked closer at Spencer, he would still be your favorite? I can only go by it the way he treats me. I just think that he wouldn't be your favorite if you knew more about him. Well, maybe it's just as well I don't know more about him because maybe I wouldn't like him. You know, life is Why do you sometimes have a, favorite, a bucket Anna? of worms yeah. and you don't know what to do with them. That's how I feel about Spencer. Like, he just like doesn't care and I don't understand why he's so mean to me. Stephanie, you have to wait till he grows up a little bit. That's what you'll have to do, and then he'll see the error of his ways. Well, I'm gonna start stealing your time from him. I'll go shopping with you, and that's something we can do together. Yeah, that's true, we could. I am very good at that. Let it out and let it oh my God, how is this gonna play out? The competition for Nana's time. Spencer doesn't even tell Stephanie when they're hanging out with Nana. He they're just hides hold, Nana. They're just hold up. <laughs> Nana, <laughs> Heidi, and Spencer in, in <laughs> Holly's apartment. They're just holed up there <laughs> and smoking blunts and watching movie marathons. Steven Seagal. <laughs> yeah, fucking serious Steven Seagal action. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thompson. The Thompson. We had our baby shower at the roof of this hotel. Mm, I remember what I wore. Me <laughs> <laughs> too. Were these laughing, laughing so? ladies? <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, Hi. Hi. Oh, people want to know a little behind the signs. Mm -hmm. When they go out at night, somewhere, mm -hmm. they always put these table lights on. Mm -hmm. uh, They're like up lights to get us better lighting. That's right. We would have light a lot at night. I mean, there would be lights, but there would be small lights. I can't remember what they were called. They did take a lot of time to light it. It was really important, and it gave the show a really good look. Yes. Um, but, but we wouldn't use like huge lights because we would want the locations to still be like bustling and busy and like we didn't we wanted to have a small footprint. Yes. How are you? Oh, this is a mess, Lauren. Well, I came to hear what you have to say because I just I mean I know I'm sorry that I jumped to conclusions. You're accusing me things that are like crazy. You're so out of character for me. You know I wouldn't do that. Some crazy person told you a crazy story. I know it was you a know. left field, but whenever someone is so like, I swear, I was there, da, 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 like. But, but it wasn't about what he said or anything that could have happened. It was that you, after I even told you it wasn't true, still believed it. I know, and I believe you, and I believe Justin now, and it's just, you realize the damage that it's done, and I'm, you know, I'm sorry on my end for what I've caused you and what you went through. As far as I'm concerned, if you have a friendship with someone and you trust them, then that's everything. You know what I mean? Who, who are your friends if you don't trust them? 
which was one of the hardest things for me, was that I realized that you don't trust me. I feel like an idiot because I didn't trust you and I didn't trust Justin. It's like... Well, I, mean, I get why you didn't trust Justin. No. What really made me upset is that I've watched you over the past few years repeatedly go back to Justin and trust him with not just, you know, your feelings, but your heart. And you couldn't give me the benefit of the doubt on something crazy like this. I don't trust okay. anyone, and you've known that for so long. That I don't think it's about trusting people, it's about knowing who to trust. The right people. As bad as it sounds, like I feel like if Justin wasn't in my life, I just feel like I think I would be happier in a sense. Happiness comes first. I just, I just feel like Iconic. my happiness lately, like I haven't been happy. I've been like so torn up inside and so angry and so just almost lost. Like I don't know who I am anymore. I have to, like, inside, I've lost who I am. Oh, no. But, you know, you gotta believe that there's people that just really want the best for you. And it's almost like I've learned to become my own best friend and not trust anyone because of all that. And that's not healthy. It's bad. I'm not gonna cry today. <laughs> I don't know. I wish you'd just trust me. I promise you, I'd never want you to be sad. Me and we'll go out in the street. Right. She's kinda like, oh, I feel bad for you, dude. But I ain't your best friend. And you blew it with me. You can trust your sister, Casey. She just got her head messed with with Justin and then the show yeah. probably just with her. her. Yeah. This is a little impressionable 21 year old, you know, or however old. Right, old right, are. totally. Total crazy situation. Yeah. And he paid all this money. Anyway, I don't think Lauren hooked up with Justin Bobby. Me either. And I don't think Audrina made it up. I think she believed it and she. Yeah, like, I agree. Next I agree. time yeah. on the hills, Kelly wants me to fly in tomorrow to have an interview with Diane von Furstenberg. Oh my god! But that would mean I'd be <laughs> moving to New York. Going Hello, on. Cameron. Oh, I didn't know you were back together. We haven't really talked about it. Tonight's full of surprises. I don't know what to do with myself. In my honest opinion, I know you can do better than that guy. So you're ready to change your lifestyle, <laughs> start something entirely new. I'm very ready. Things could be like different. I want to get back here like as soon as possible. Are you gonna stay? Uh, yeah. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> I love when you play the mini banjo. I, w I wish you could actually play. If you could like I can. croon me to- Yeah, I'll croon you. I'll be like, just like Jay, I'll be like a serenader. <laughs> and maybe you can also be like the guy on The Bachelor at the talks in an accent. <laughs> yeah, but not that math teacher is creeping us out. Do the water sound. What a sode, you guys. What a, what sode. a sode. I mean, I can't believe that Stephanie is fighting for Nana's attention. <laughs> Which direction will Nana go? Um, I'm asleep. But we did wrap up the Audrina Lauren saga. Justin saga. And I cannot go on any further. And next episode, we're bringing back Cameron, who may or may not get punched in the face. And we all know physical violence equals ratings. ratings. Thank you for joining us. Make sure that you comment. Make sure that you subscribe. And make sure that you ring the bell. Just ring the bell, you guys. If you don't ring the bell, then you won't get notifications when we post, and then you won't be able to join us live at the premiere. See you next time on Reaction it's of the House. We should come up with a name for our show. Uh huh. We don't even have a name. We called it Reaction Videos for. It's too long. Yeah, let's call it Reaction Station. <laughs> no, 
Reaction traction. <laughs> Let's call it Team Reactors. <laughs> Reacting core. Partners in reaction. Yeah, let's, let's stick with that. Partners in reaction. I love you. We're partners in life and reaction. Uh, who can win? Who can win uh, what? Uh, ah! No, don't let me win. Don't let me win. Don't Actually, let you yeah. win? Okay, you lose. Shit. All right. <laughs> I would never do physical violence to you. I know that. How do I smell? You smell like, you smell good. I can smell my BO. I don't smell your BO. You're in my neck. You have a, that a lot of people sweat in their neck. Oh, I don't, but I don't have BO in my neck. I've never heard of BO in your neck before. You've never heard of neck BO? Let's roll right into the next roll. episode. See you there. See you there. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. <laughs>